What if you were the last ruler of a once mighty dynasty facing the unstoppable tide of the Mongol Empire? Picture it. You're Jalal al-Din Mangburni, the final Khwarazm Shah of the Anushteginid dynasty. Your father, the previous ruler, has passed on, leaving you the enormous task of managing an empire, an empire teetering on the brink of annihilation. The challenges are not just external. Within your family, the seeds of discord have been sown. Your younger brother, coveting the throne, and the powerful Queen Mother, with her own ambitions, are both obstacles you must navigate. Yet, despite these internal threats, an even greater peril looms on the horizon. The relentless, formidable Mongol forces, like a storm gathering in the distance, are poised to sweep across your lands. In the face of such overwhelming odds, what do you do? How do you safeguard your people, your heritage, and your legacy? This was the daunting reality for Jalal al-Din Mangburni, the last Khwarezm Shah. Jalal al-Din's reign began in turmoil. A young ruler, he ascended the throne at a time of great uncertainty, his father's death leaving a power vacuum that was rapidly filled with internal strife. His younger brother and the Queen Mother, both formidable figures in their own right, posed significant challenges to his claim to the throne. Yet Jalal al-Din was not deterred by these familial rivalries. He was a ruler of conviction, a man who believed in his right to rule, and it was this belief that would ultimately secure his position as the Khwarezm Shah. He knew he needed the support of the Khwarezmian loyalists, the very people who had backed his father, and so he set about winning them over. Jalal al-Din understood the power of loyalty. He knew that to gain the support of the Khwarezmian loyalists, he needed to prove himself a worthy successor to his father, and so he embarked on a campaign of diplomacy and military strategy, demonstrating his strength as a leader and his commitment to the Khwarazmian Empire. His efforts were not in vain. Despite the challenges posed by his younger brother and the Queen Mother, Jalal al-Din succeeded in winning the loyalty of the majority of Khwarazmian loyalists. They saw in him a leader of courage and conviction, a man who would not be swayed by family rivalry or the threat of the Mongols. Jalal al-Din's rise to power was not easy, but it was marked by determination and resilience. He faced opposition from within his own family and the looming threat of the Mongols, yet he remained steadfast in his pursuit of power. He was a ruler who understood the importance of loyalty, and it was this understanding that enabled him to secure his position as the Khwarezm Shah. Despite the odds, Jalal al-Din established his rule amidst family rivalry and an impending Mongol threat. His reign began in turmoil, but through sheer will and determination, he managed to rise above the challenges and secure his place as the ruler of the Khwarezmian Empire. Jalal al-Din was not content with merely holding on to power. His ambition and thirst for expansion took him beyond the borders of his inherited lands. He set his eyes on the regions of Punjab, northwest Iran, and even the remote lands of Georgia. His goal was to establish short-lived states, to exert his influence and to manifest his authority over these territories. Now let's take a moment to consider the audacity of such a move. Here was a ruler who, despite the looming threat of the powerful Mongol forces, dared to stretch his empire across diverse and distant lands. This wasn't just an act of territorial acquisition, it was a bold statement of resilience and defiance. Jalal al-Din was not one to be easily subdued. The Punjab, a fertile region known for its rich culture and strategic location, was one of his first targets. He saw the potential of this land to strengthen his empire, and thus it fell under his rule. Next, he turned his attention to northwest Iran, a region that was significant for its historical and political importance. His successful conquest here further amplified his power. Lastly, he ventured into Georgia, a realm far removed from his original domain. This move was not just about expanding his empire, but also about showcasing his strength and audacity each of these conquests was a testament to Jalal al-Din's relentless ambition and unwavering courage. However, with every expansion, the resistance grew stronger. The territories he conquered were not without their challenges, and the Mongol forces were closing in. Each new state he established was a beacon, attracting the attention and increasing pressure from the Mongols. But as Jalal al-Din expanded his territories, the Mongol pressure was mounting. His ambition, while driving him forward, was also drawing him into a conflict that would challenge the very existence of his empire. 
Yet, even in the face of such adversity, Jalal al-Din was not one to back down. His story is one of relentless ambition, audacious expansion, and the inevitable resistance that followed. The Mongol storm was closing in. The Khwarazmian Empire, under Jalal al-Din Mangburni, found itself in the path of the relentless Mongol onslaught. The once powerful empire was teetering on the brink of collapse, its ruler faced with challenges on multiple fronts. Jalal al-Din, the last Khwarazm Shah of the Anushteganid dynasty, found himself under increasing pressure from the Mongol forces. The Mongols, under the command of the formidable Genghis Khan, were expanding their empire at a rapid pace, leaving devastation in their wake. Jalal al-Din, despite his best efforts, could do little to stem the tide of the Mongol invasion. The Khwarazmian Empire was gradually losing its territories, its power diminishing with each Mongol victory. Amidst this external threat, Jalal al-Din also faced internal challenges. Revolts sprouted within his empire, further weakening his rule and making the task of defending against the Mongols all the more difficult. His rule, which had once commanded the loyalty of the majority of Khwarazmian loyalists, was now under threat from within and without. In 1231, Jalal al-Din met his end, but the story of his empire did not end with him. His army, undeterred by his death, continued to terrorize the Levant. They became the Khwarazmia, a mercenary force that carried on Jalal al-Din's legacy of resistance. However, their reign of terror did not last long. In 1246, the Khwarazmia were defeated, marking the end of the Khwarazmian resistance against the Mongols. Jalal al-Din's death marked the end of an era and the fall of the Khwarazmian Empire. His reign, marked by both triumph and tragedy, had come to an end. The empire he had inherited and struggled to preserve had fallen, but his story and that of his empire would continue to echo through the annals of history, a testament to the indomitable spirit of resistance in the face of overwhelming odds. The empire fell, but the story of Jalal al-Din Mangburni endured. As the last Khwarazm Shah of the Anush Teginid dynasty, Jalal al-Din's legacy is one that reverberates through the annals of history. Jalal al-Din's resilience in the face of adversity is a significant part of his enduring legacy. Despite the challenges he faced, from familial disputes to powerful external forces, he held steadfast. His ability to rally the Khwarazmian loyalists and retain their loyalty is a testament to his leadership and charisma. He is remembered for his ability to inspire loyalty and devotion in those who followed him. His ambition, too, is a key facet of his legacy. Jalal al-Din was not content with simply maintaining the status quo. He sought to expand his influence, establishing short-lived states in the Punjab, northwest Iran and Georgia. His aspirations did not wane even in the face of Mongol pressure. This drive, this ambition, is what sets him apart in the history books. Furthermore, his struggle against the Mongols is perhaps the most defining aspect of his legacy. Even as his empire crumbled around him, Jalal al-Din continued to resist, to fight. His army, the Khwarazmia, continued to terrorize the Levant long after his death, only finally defeated in 1246. This resistance, this refusal to submit, is a powerful part of Jalal al-Din's story. In the end, the legacy of Jalal al-Din Mangburni is one of resilience, ambition and resistance. He was a man who refused to be swept away by the tides of history, who fought until the very end. And while his empire may have fallen, his story has endured. Jalal al-Din Mangburni, the last Khwarazm Shah, was a man caught in the tides of history, but his story of resilience and ambition continues to captivate us even centuries later. History is more than dates and events. It's about people and their stories. The tale of Jalal al-Din Mangburni is one of power, ambition and resilience. His journey from the son of a ruler to the last Khwarazm Shah of the Anushteganid dynasty is a testament to his indomitable spirit, even in the face of insurmountable odds. Jalal al-Din's reign was marked by challenges, from sibling rivalry to the formidable force of the Mongol Empire. Yet, he rallied the loyalty of his people, establishing states in the Punjab, northwest Iran and Georgia. His story is not just about the rise and fall of an empire, but about the man behind the crown, his struggles, victories and defeats. Despite his eventual downfall, Jalal al-Din left an indelible mark. His army continued to cast a shadow over the Levant, 
terrorizing it as the Quarazmia. His legacy serves as a stark reminder of the human element in history, the personal stories that lie behind the grand narratives of empires and wars. As we reflect on the life of Jalal al-Din Mangburni, we are reminded of the power of resilience, the cost of ambition, and the relentless march of history.